Hey, this is Todd at NC Solar Electric. Today I'm going to show you how to properly set up a 30 amp branch circuit that can run at 80% as 24 amps to offset an Altair PDU completely, 100%. So here's how it's done. In your main service panel, you should always do this with a dedicated circuit. Never connect solar to some random receptacle in your house, even if it's a 240 volt receptacle, because it is when you do that, it is no longer protected by the breaker at the panel. And it can overload the wires, it can overload the receptacles, and can cause a fire. So don't do that. Word of warning. To properly do it, at your main panel, you find the main breaker, and it's usually at the top, sometimes it's at the bottom. There, there's an internal bus bar. So if the breaker is at the top, you want to go all the way to the bottom of the bus bar, and in the bottom location, you want to install a 30 amp breaker. It's a 30 amp breaker for a 30 amp branch circuit that can run at 24 amps AC. So you install a two pole 30 amp breaker, let me hold it up right. All right, this is an Eaton BR type because I have Eaton Cutler Hammer panels. <clears throat> you install that there. And then from that, you connect an L630R receptacle. It's a receptacle that looks like this, all right, where this would plug in. I used one of these uh, off-the-shelf um, off DIY meter boxes. I got it on Amazon. It comes with the L630R receptacle and a little box and a meter. Meter's okay. <laughs> it's cheesy, but it works. And it gives you the receptacle. So you would wire the two wires and a ground from your main panel, line one, line two, and ground, <clears throat> to that little power meter receptacle box. Then you plug this into that box. This is your input cord, line cord, all right? The line cord here comes in and is attached to this re relay here. This is a 30 amp relay. It comes in underneath on the two, on the two contacts below, fast ons. And those are 30 amp, 10 gauge, fast ons. So then it comes off to the same side, so the power is continuous through, and comes through this current switch. So this is a, a switch that detects current, and you can adjust it. You want to adjust it for your maximum inverter current. With three HMS 2000s, that's 24 amps. So you want to make sure your load current is greater than 24 amps. And really that's probably a lot to ask. What you would probably connect here are two HMS 2000s and one HMS 1000 or and a 1600. So you're below the 24 amps because 24 is the most you should use. But you'll set this for that limit. Let's say it's 22 amps, all right, or 21 amps. So you'll set it for that. So if the load on this cable is greater than the 21 amps, it will it will turn on this relay connecting your circuit and your PDU to this cable or group of three microinverters. There's three trunk connectors and for HMS 2000 that's the most you can have. All right, for HMS 1600 you can have four. But like I said, we want to stay just under 24 amps. So um, three HMS 2000s will give you 24 amps at the peak of the day. So that's, that's the gist of it. And this little wire here is just the same uh, 10 amp circuit I had before. So I can hook what I've already made to this and rather than run this 60 feet out to my solar panels. I don't want to do that. This is for your information and your education. And I hope you'll like and subscribe this video and come visit me at ncsolarelectric.com. I've got 
DIY kits, I custom design hybrid kits, microinverter kits um, to meet your needs. I've got a couple of small ones like a 12 panel kit that's perfect for this. Schedule a call with me and let's talk. Y'all have a great day. Don't forget, like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Help me get there. Thank you.